Well, I'm being told this, uh, wearing the Sooner colors is, uh, Soldier Mills. And it looks like, uh, Soldier has a little bit of, uh, Some martial arts a little martial arts background. Oh, come on. You know, it's one thing to be seven foot, to be the jacked up giant, but you've got to be a sucker puncher as well. And there's Jim Cornette, tennis racket in hand, gleefully grinning from ear to ear, and another victim. Just that easy. Charlie, I can see it. I, I see the look on your face. Yeah, you notice Matt Boy, you won't look over here at the announcer's table. Uh, He'll look at anyone else but come over here. He knows better. All right, well, apparently there's... I don't care how big and how much of a monster he is. Somebody's got to put a stop to this. Hey, is that your boyfriend? Well, I know this young man personally. This is Brandon Groom. Yes, another who's not standing amateur right wrestling here in Oklahoma. I want to fight you. I don't want to kiss you. I want you kiss this. Well, he is a true believer, and we'll see if oh, Brandon no, Groom. of the Bible Belt, Oklahoma, praise God. Yeah, so cool. Wow. Ringing the bell once again. Looks like Tulsa time right here. He's getting a little Tulsa time. Look at that. Brandon Groom. He's caught Matt Morgan off guard. And just that quickly, the power and strength of the seven-foot monster able to derail the momentum that Brandon Groom had. This is a $10,000 challenge. Matt Morgan has laid to waste two victims so far. Brandon Groom is the third. It's been a different attack each time. Man, I tell you, did you see his head ricochet off the apron? Look at this. Look at that. The I mean, running boot with Brandon Groom's I mean, head. That's a 20 inch boot right there. I mean, look at the size of those boots. Keep in mind, before Matt Morgan got into professional wrestling, he was dunking basketballs in D1. Hawaii Fairfield did it all over. You're right. An NBA prospect got involved in professional wrestling, and now. Did you see that power wow. bomb? I mean, Kevin, did you feel that power bomb? Brandon, oh, oh, come make on. Your point, big man. Make your point, let everybody know. Now, this what's is going ridiculous. On. He's made point Cornette what are you trying to do come on Kevin oh yeah Jim Cornette this is despicable come on Cornette this is this is despicable no wow shades of Brock Lesnar and another victim oh come on oh, now. come on Jim that's Cornette twice. that's twice come on Jim Cornette this is ridiculous and now Terry Taylor is coming out here, and it's about Thank time. Thank God. It's about time we had some law and order around here. All right, all right, Cornette. Morgan, you guys have made your point. What do you have to do, cripple somebody before you've had enough? Back your monster up. You made your point. You're done. Yeah, you are. Jimmy, if you want him around, you back him up. Get him out of here. Keep him. Get him out! Oh, wait a minute now. Come on, oh, come hey, on! Hey, hey! Hey, hey come what on. is this? Just an old man, father of time. Right now, I can break and be crippled. Throw your little tail in half. But I know doing it to your boy, AJ Styles, would hurt a heck of a lot more. I'll tell you what, Matt Morgan better hope he doesn't lose that $10,000 because he may need it for some fines that are going to be levied out around here. Well, next up, Cornette is...
going to be leading Petey Williams to the CWA Heavyweight Championship. Matt Morgan, the insurance policy, his 10 grand is safe, and Terry Taylor has been victimized as well. What else will happen here tonight, and what will happen? What will happen, folks, at United Champions 2? of Jim Cornette masterminding the big monster, and I mean monster, Matt Morgan, and helping Petey Williams, I, they're unstoppable. I, I think, you know, the, the future CWE lies in their hands, Well, we'll Kevin. see what happens in the main event, but right now, let's go up to our ring announcer, Dave Penzer, who has our next he wants to be His opponent hails from Detroit, Michigan. He is... from a town that was called Hell, Michigan. You couldn't make it up if you tried. Unbelievable. You know, you gotta be pretty tough to live in that town. I'll you gotta you be tough to live in hell. <laughs> you well, need a prayer to live there. Well, Chris Saban and Matt Sedell are set to go one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. You're gonna see some great wrestling between these two young men right here. This match does mix of a lot of traditional wrestling, uh -oh. a lot of high flying. Boy, it looks like uh, <laughs> he stumped there, man. He stumped Chris Saban. Chris Saban doesn't know what to think. Look at him, he's caught up in the ropes. Okay, it looks like uh, Matt Sedell, he came prepared. All right, let's see what happens now. Two evenly matched individuals. Single, patented John Smith, single leg, right to a headlock. Side headlock now applied by Saban. Side headlock applied, side headlock takeover now. Chris Sit Saban also well schooled in, uh, you know, in technical wrestling. Tremendous high flyers, really made a name for himself throughout the course of 2004 into 2005. Saban trying to find a counter and an escape here using the head scissors. Sedell being, you know, being smart there and backing away from that. Well, he knew the side headlock counter was going right. was on its way. Smartly, smartly done. Very well. Test of strength here. Right to the top wrist lock. He's cinching that in, I'm putting applying the pressure on that elbow. So they're trying to force that pressure off. You know, a back bridge. Oh, I look at the strength of Sedell here. Remember, watch it. Watch the pinfall there. Oh my God! What agility! Great strength there. Into the side headlock takeover. Right back to the headlock. Head scissor counter. Nice. Both men on their feet. Young men. I mean, these guys are tremendous athletes. 